Well, I've just got this lovely new rifle, Air Arms S510 in a GRS stock. All we're going to do now, going to quickly do a pellet test. Going to put nine different types of pellets through it at 20 yards and then pick out a few which seem to have decent groupings. Then we'll take it out to 40 yards. Obviously the best one there with the best group of 40 yards will be my pellet of choice. Another quick note is I have noticed in the first 100 pellets, it was shooting at around 10.1 foot-pounds, which is a bit low. However, obviously once I got through 100 pellets, the power seems to have gone up, and it's gone to about 11.1 foot-pounds now. Uh, so the barrel is breaking in. And also, being unregulated, I did a test over the chronograph. So I filled it up to 190 bar, went all the way down to about 110 bar, I think. And it seems to get its peak between 170 and 120 bar. And I've worked that out, that's roughly around 50 shots. So I've narrowed it down to these five lots of pellets, the three JSBs, the Air Arms and the QIS Streamline pellets. QIS pellets actually did pretty good, but I have heard they're not very good at further ranges. They seem to be affected by wind a lot. So I'm going to put that to the test, 40 yards. So, we've got a target now at 40 yards with the five pellets that seem to be grouping the best at 20 yards. I'm gonna see how they do at this distance and then pick my winner. Looking at the results after, it looks like the JSB's 4.53 head size seems to be the best pellet for this rifle. At 40 yards and sub 12 foot pound, it's under a 5p coin. Right then, let's go do some hunting. Sold my BSA Ultra. 
my friends off their PCP for a while because he had a Springer. So I've ended up buying uh, an Air Arms S510 with a GRS stock from Liquid Steel Design. So I'm very happy. I haven't actually used it on any targets yet. Targets is in living targets. So hopefully I'll get my first one today. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. Good news is there's no feed left, which means there's squirrels in the area. Bad news is there's no feed left, which means I don't know how long it's been empty for, but if it's been empty for a few days, then they might not be coming. So I'm sure I'll get something at least anyway. Put a handful of peanuts in there, and then this cheeky little mouse decided he wanted some. I've seen this mouse before, he lives at the bottom of the tree, and I have no reason to shoot him, so I'll just leave him be. I'm currently using my spare scope until my new hawk scope arrives, so you may notice that the reticle is not 100% clear. Well, that didn't take long. First blood for the S510. Straight to the head, straight down.
Well, that's it for today. Just the two, but I'm back there in two days to go on to the other feeder, which I think will be more productive. So I've returned three days later and it seems like my GoPro does not like my PAO scope. It's nice and clear for me looking through the scope, but the camera just doesn't like it. Luckily, I changed to my pod after this. Okay, so that's five down so far. I'm gonna go pick them up in a minute because they, they are a little bit nervous coming up to them. Uh, I had a problem this morning where, because I'm waiting for a new scope, so I don't have to use my PAO spare scope. My GoPro Hero 7 does not like this scope and I've found out that when I'm shooting, it's not shooting where I'm aiming and it struggles with a reticle and I should have my scope by now because it's been sent by Royal Mail 24 hours that was six days ago, thanks Royal Mail so there were uh, one of the shots was I actually injured the squirrel and had to go put it out of its misery off camera 
so luckily I brought my pod with me so I'm just using that on its night uh, daytime mode um, but apart from that five screws that's a quite a busy hour so go pick them up see if I can get another seem to be coming from all directions this morning that I'm really struggling to record everything so I'm hoping I have some decent footage but no promises it's a very strange one this morning after I shot the last squirrel this squirrel was very agitated he was very close to me and I couldn't adjust my parallax without being seen so I had to take the shot off hand Fortunately, he dropped like a sack of spuds. Well that's certainly not a bad morning, in two and a half hours I've got eight squirrels with my new Air Arms S510. If you like what you see just give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.